up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video is by What Culture Gaming. I just found out that What Culture does more stuff besides wrestling. Yes, I just figured that shit out. But anyways, they got today 10 banned video games that shocked the world. Let's see how old school we can get this. So, without further ado, let's full screen this and let's start this shit. I wonder if Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original NES version, is on here. Because that was quite a conspiracy Five back then. Industry's best efforts conspiracy? To country, you still no. see this stuff on the news several times a year. Video games encourage violence. Ban GTA. I made a sign as well. Go home. Games have age ratings for a reason, and if a parent is letting their impressionable six-year-old play the hostage... You're doing it wrong. You're, 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 you fail as a parent. Infinity Ward. Having said that, there are reasons to ban a game other than... Slave trade. Oh, really shit. want to shoot the cat. So, whether it was a banned games abhorrent... I play GTA all the time. I don't go around reason that murdering people and was taken off the stealing cars. Because I don't want to get butt raped in jail. Completely shocked by a ban video game. I'm Peter from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 banned video games that shocked the world. Number 10, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 banned in Chihuahua, Mexico. There aren't many times I get to use the word Chihuahua in a non-dog context, so I'm going to embrace this opportunity. In an unusual move, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 was subject to a ban within a specific state rather than an entire country. The governor of Chihuahua accused the game of stereotyping the locals and thus deemed it antagonizing, while the mayor of Juarez, Chihuahua's largest city, even claimed that the game would scare off tourists who would otherwise be happy to visit a country of five of the world's 50 million. It's a goddamn game. game. Number 9, the entire God of War series banned in Saudi Arabia. Come on, Saudi Arabia, it's God of War. Monsters, viscera, sexy beard. What's not to love? Well, to be fair, one of the main reasons this series is banned there is the use of the word God in the title, which is a religious thing, so fair enough. But Saudi Arabia, go home, you're drunk. Specifically, the presence of interactive sex scenes, partial nudity, and sexual themes. I've attempted to call that... Partial nudity? Saudi Arabia Have you played God of War? Trading cards in it's full out nudity. ...promoting Zionism, so... You know, maybe they're just a bit touchy. Number eight, Football Manager 2005 what? banned in China. How on earth how, does a game how like do you piss off China get with banned football? anywhere for any reason? Some sort of cheat code that makes a photorealistic streaker dash across the pitch mid-game? Well, no, actually. China banned Football Manager 2005 because the original build of the game recognized Tibet as a separate country. Can of worms, meat can opener. Sports interactive design really? is the best way to remedy Over the meaningless shit. Keep quiet and change it. Number seven, Battlefield 3 banned in Iran. I can think of worse reasons for a country imposing a ban when the game in question depicts the fictional invasion of their own capital city by American troops. Battlefield 3 found itself in Iranian hot water upon its release, with many stores refusing to stock it even before the official ban was put in place. <coughs> Intense simulated gunfights at Tehran's Grand Bazaar are not the sort of thing to be enjoyed by citizens of a country whose real-life relationship with the USA was already wobbly at best. Isn't there six, fucking sports MMA bloodshed in every game? Denmark. No, no, stop it. The Danish don't want you to knee each other in the face. You're encouraging violence. Stop. Kids will copy you. At least that's what you think might be the reason a mixed martial arts game could be deemed inappropriate for sale. However, it's actually all about energy drinks. In Denmark, energy what? drinks are deemed unhealthy, and so advertising for them is prohibited. This meant that MMA was for the band. Denmark bans Red Bull. Rather garish sponsorship deals with Rockstar, which of course here at WhatCulture.com okay. is just as good as any other taurine saturated energy drink. Number five, Homefront, banned in South Korea. Homefront didn't make the best of first impressions when its TV marketing campaign, which consisted of this imitation news footage, was taken seriously by many non-gamers who thought the USA had actually gone to war with North Korea. THQ then got into trouble with environmentalists after releasing 10,000 balloons. Korea, man. Game. You don't, can't tell the difference between a game and the actual news. A hook. The final mishap occurred when the game was outright banned in South Korea in order to avoid worsening diplomatic tensions with their neighbours. In addition, Japan insisted on a heavily edited release, which replaced all references to the enemy nation with the phrase, that place to the north. As a York that German, place that should not be named. Down with home front. Number four, rape play. Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. Hold on, there's a game called rape play? Than a game called rape play was banned. 
Okay, here's what I've got. In rape play, you play as a chicken, which is apparently a term in Japan for men who publicly grope women. Your godforsaken targets in the so-called story mode are the mother and two daughters. There's a story mode in a game called rape play. Age. I really have no desire what? to any airtime to the disgusting details, but essentially you stalk and rape. This is a in predator's wet dream. The character dies at the end. Then you unlock a bunch of bonus games. Just molesting people left and right. Last. This should have been axed from day one of development. Never mind, banned after its release. Number three. Manhunt 2, banned in various countries. Still illegal in South Korea, Germany, Malaysia and New Zealand, it was once also forbidden from sitting on shelves in Italy, Ireland and the UK, making it surely one of the most banned games ever published. No prizes for guessing why. Manhunt 1 made a name for itself even before release for being excessively violent. A reputation I still haven't by played Manhunt. I got it on Steam. Who wrongly I gotta play that shit. Claims that it had inspired a real murder. Unsurprisingly, when a sequel was published, countries across the globe quashed it for gross, unrelenting and gratuitous oh. violence. Oh. Wilson finally got a good night's sleep. Number two, the guy game, banned in the USA. The guy Are you a game? guy? A man? Are you a man? Play the guy game. A game for men. We took a camera crew and a very annoying host to the South Padre Island Spring Break celebrations and filmed a bunch of women taking their tops off. Progress through the game to see less censorship and more boob by correctly guessing this is a game? It's just the objectified broads were able to answer a trivia Isn't this question. called Girls Gone oh, Wild? Too stupid. Oh, Do we need a game for this? You can though, because this game is going to be banned four months after release when we're sued by one of these breezies who was actually underage when she took her kit off her oh. Oh my god, f*** you and this misogynistic pile of profanity. People are awful. And number one, Postal 2, banned in New Zealand. Haven't played Postal ever this game. Postal Squared, a game that basically allows you to walk around being a psychopath over a seven day period, did not just get banned in New Zealand, Shit. it got its butt shut down. It was flagged for no less than its gross abhorrent content, urination, Ugh. high impact violence, animal cruelty, homophobia, racial and ethnic stereotypes. Basically, Hitler's to-do list. To be fair to the developers though, you can actually complete most of the game without being violent. Indeed, its tagline What's was- What's the point of doing members. the game? Only as violent as you are. Nobody wants to play a game that's not violent. Though, and to this day, just only saying. the game can land you with a fifty. It's someone's shit and put it in the stink. Ten years in the slammer. How much time do you have to take the shit out of the criminal toilet and put it on the sink? For is pissing on really? someone in a video game. And that's our list. Do you know any others? We'd love to hear about it. So tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Peter from WhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon. So I noticed that. They only put like recently games, recent games in there, like from 2000 up to now. They never put anything below the NES version. The NES, when the NES was out, is what I'm saying. Because like I remember, wasn't Texas Chainsaw Massacre one of those games that shocked the world because of a uh, you're going around killing people with chainsaws? And what's that other game where like you're a, a serial killer going into a f Women's frat house and just killing scantily clad women. I don't know the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you. But yeah, they're just recently showing the games of today, from the last 10 years or so. They didn't really go back all the way, but yeah, there's probably more, but they only have 10 to do, so I can see why they didn't put more. But, anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye! Los chilenos nos multiplicamos, hay un problema, lo solucionamos, por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos, de bonichoro ahí no paramos, tecnología muy avanzada.